Hey everyone. So, today I want to talk about a commander that uh, immediately caught my eye when he was spoiled. And this is a good one. Uh, Kethis the Hidden Hand. He is Abzan. One of each. One white, one black, one green. For a 3 4. Legendary spells you cast cost one less to cast. You can exile two legendary cards from your graveyard to give legendaries in your graveyard until the end of turn. You may play this card from your graveyard. And I know I do that often. I don't say the text exactly as it is, but you get the point when I say it, and that's all that really matters here. So, there's a, a few things that you can do with this guy, but we're just going to kind of go over my thought process on how to make him as competitive possible. So, the first thing that I think is important for a Kethis build is filling our graveyard. So, we're going to start with cards like Grizzly Salvage. Just black and a green. Reveal the top five cards. You can put a creature or land from them in your hand. The rest into your graveyard. Uh, so more often than not, we're probably just going to get land. Because this is going to be a reanimator type deck. So, to go along with Grizzly Salvage, we are going to try to be as redundant as possible with cards like Corpse Turn. Which is a similar effect, but instead it gets top three. Grapple with the Past. Again, top three. Mulch, top four. And Drown in Filth puts the top four into our graveyard, and it doubles as removal by giving a creature negative one, negative one until end of turn, where a uh, negative one, negative one until end of turn for each land card in our graveyard. We also have a few creatures to help us out with Hermit Druid, just one mana tap, reveal cards from the top until you reveal a basic land, put, up, put it in your hand, then all other cards revealed this way into your graveyard. And again, we're trying to be as efficient as possible with our mana. So we're playing creatures like Low Spore Shaman. It's two mana, mill the top three. And Stitcher Supplier, one mana. He is upside down. I don't know why I did that, but he also lets you mill the top three. Yeah, you get point. All right, so this is Commander, and we want to make mana. So we're gonna run things like Absence Pilgrim, Birds of Paradise, and everyone's favorite, favorite mana dork, one mana Planeswalker himself, Deathrite Shaman, because this is the only format he can be played in. Well, I don't know. Maybe he can be played in Vintage. Not sure, but for me, my playset is now dedicated to Commander. So, to go along with stocking our graveyard, we're going to do some uh, recursion, obviously. So we're going to run cards like Draw Order. Again, stocking our graveyard, but this is kind of a synergy. Just four mana, search for two creatures, put one in your hand, the other in your graveyard, then shuffle. So the important text here is this lets us put something in our graveyard. We're going to couple that with Buried Alive. Search your library for up to three creature cards. Reveal them. Put them into your graveyard. I don't know why I said reveal. If they're going into your grave, they are revealed. We've got Eternal Witness. Get key cards back that we might want to get back. For Rexian Reclamation, which goes into a combo here in a little bit. Surprise, surprise. Buried Ruin, because in Commander, there is always, without fail, an artifact you want to get back. I've done gotten to the point where I will run Buried Ruin in the majority of Commander decks that I play because I am fully expecting someone to blow up something I want to stay on board. And Ramen Up Excavator, because it's always nice to use your Buried Ruin to get something back and then play your Buried Ruin. And plus, we are milling ourselves over. Granted, it's a few cards here and there, but we will get lands in the grave, and having the excavator to play those cards could be important. Alright, so let's get into the combo. What we are trying to focus. So the combo of this deck is one that most people who play modern is or should be familiar with if you play modern. So let's just go ahead and look at some of the cards, and you should be able to piece it together by looking at it. Anafenza. Kin Tree Spirit. Whenever another non-token creature enters a battlefield under your control, bolster, bolster one. Solera, Silvac Outcast. You can't get poison counters. Creatures you control can't have negative counters put on them. Creatures your opponent control lose infect. Now that third line of text is irrelevant. Vizier of Remedies. If one or more negative counters will be put on a creature you control, put that many minus one on it instead. Devoted Druid. So, Malira, the Vizier of Remedies, 
Both go off with Devoted Druid to make infinite mana. Seracir. Oh, look at that. Sack a creature, scribe one. Good stuff. I, I'm assuming everyone knows where we're going with this. Kitchen Finks. Infinite life. So, if you've got Vizier in play, Kitchen Finks. Sack Kitchen Finks. Gain two life. Kitchen Finks comes back because he has Persist. Gets a negative counter. Well, if you've got Malira, Vizier, or Anafenza out, that negative counter is gone. So, Malira and Anafenza just give one less counter. Whereas, Anafenza will bolster on him and kind of cancel out the negative counter with the new plus one plus one counter and the same Malira Vizier of Remedies will go with Devoted Druid so every time you put a negative counter to untap it you just instead untap it with no counter all right so that is one combo that's infinite mana and if you remember earlier I said we had a combo with Phyrexian Reclamation well once we get infinite mana with our Devoted Druid we're just going to use all of our black mana, which we will need three black mana per time. So we can probably do this two or three times a turn. Or if we can figure out a way to uh, filter our green mana into black mana, we can use Kakusho, the evening star, to kill everybody. So make infinite mana, devoted druid. If we can find a way to filter our mana into black, good. If not, just use three black sources every turn to use the reclamation to get back evening star. Use Viserys Seer to sack it after you've cast it everyone loses five life use a reclamation get kakusho back play it sack it with viserys ear good stuff all around so let us move on oh my bad i forgot about altar of dementia alternate wing con not moving on so we don't need kakusho for this all we need is vizier anafenza malira one of the three Viserysir and Kitchen Finks. No, we don't need Viserysir. All we need is a Kitchen Finks. We've got Altar of Dementia out. We can infinitely sack Kitchen Finks to mill everybody out. That is good stuff. Or, in turn, we can just mill ourselves down to nothing and potentially win the game. So, there's that. Alright, now we're moving on. So, the other package that I want to talk about is Kethis is kind of like a three-color Captain Sisse. In a sense, Captain Sisse gets a tutor for Legends, but she is all about Legends Matter. And we're going to do a similar thing. So if we're killing things, we're going to be reanimating things, we're going to play kind of a hate bears thing. So we've got Gaddic Teague to help us out. We can run cards like Reki. So if we're running a heavily legendary uh, based deck, Reki lets us draw a card every time we play a Legend. Thalia Heretic Cathar pairs well with Gaddic Teague and other various... Uh, legends from these three colors that can hate your opponent out of the game. Opponents, Commander. Look at some budget lands here. Inventor's Fair. Again, you're playing a lot of artifacts most of the time in Commander, especially if you do competitive Commander. And Inventor's Fair, coincidentally, is legendary. And you can sack it, search for an artifact, put it in your hand. Mikakuru, Center of the Sea. Pay two, each player draws a card. Also, legendary, important to note. And I can't say that name, the Cloud Keeper. You can tap it, pay two life, add two mana, spend this mana only to play legendary spells. So it is a soul land for legendaries. Alright, well, that was the deck. Well, what I think, anyways. Uh, so I've got a list that I've already made. It. I've uploaded it to uh, MTG Goldfish, and I'll put a link in the description box down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the new editing that I've done here uh, if you want to see more videos like this if you want to see more of the old videos maybe we can get some gameplay in but uh yeah Kethis Legends with uh Abzan Coco combo for Commander yep good stuff good stuff so tell me what you think everyone like comment subscribe and uh I'll talk to you next time